Good evening, everyone. I'm Sandra Bookman. Joe has the night off. We're going to begin this evening with a state of emergency in advance of Hurricane Henri. Governor Andrew Cuomo made the declaration hours before the storm makes landfall. Right now, Henri is just east of North Carolina. It is barreling this way and expected to make landfall on the east end of Long Island midday tomorrow. In New Jersey, we're already seeing some rough surf. Lifeguards in Ocean City made sure all beachgoers only went into the water waist deep. We've got a team covering this evening. Team coverage this evening. Diana Rocco is in Bayshore, but we're going to begin with meteorologist Jeff Smith. He's got new information from the National Hurricane Center. Yeah, and the good news is not many changes in the path of Henri. We still have hurricane warnings in effect for Suffolk County, Long Island. There's a tropical storm warning in effect for the five bars of New York City extending down over parts of the Jersey Shore. There's that storm surge warning that remains in effect for the east end of Long Island. Also the north shore of Long Island along Long Island Sound. Here's Henri right now. Actually, developing a little bit better of a defined eye here, indicating some intensification. 75 mile per hour sustained winds moving north northeast at about 18 miles per hour. The National Hurricane Center still targeting extreme eastern Long Island. If anything, this track has been nudged a little bit off to the east, and this makes landfall probably around midday tomorrow as either a strong tropical storm or a minimal hurricane. The impact is basically going to be the same. It's all semantics at that point, and then it kind of slows down as it moves up into parts of New England by later on tomorrow night, and then it can definitely increase the inland flooding threat. Speaking of rainfall, we have a plume of moisture kind of moving northward from Henri up on parts of the Jersey Shore, and we can get some heavier showers even a couple of thunderstorms down over parts of Ocean, Monmouth and Middlesex during the next few hours as that continues to move off to the north. But we got to watch the outer rain bands of the actual circulation of the storm that comes in by later tonight. We're talking after midnight, say by three o'clock in the morning, you're getting some pretty intense rain bands moving out of parts of Long Island. These can contain tropical storm force winds. And then we're just going to town, I think, right around daybreak tomorrow from New York City and points east onto the island. And then as the core of the storm approaches Long Island, by say just prior to midday. That's when it can really go downhill. Conditions deteriorating though later tonight, first on Long Island and then spreading inland to the north and west, expecting landfall around midday tomorrow near the east end. And that area can get hurricane force gusts, could be above 80 miles per hour in gust in the city, more like 40 to 60 mile per hour gusts onto western Long Island as well. Could be four to eight inches of rain in parts of the area, maybe a three to six foot storm surge as well. We've made maps for all of this and we'll show you that in your full AccuWeather forecast coming up. Sandra. All right. Thank you very much.